Good morning, uh, welcome to Rank School. Uh, my movie that I imagine, Resurrection, is going to continue. Uh, I'll continue to tell the story a little bit. Now this is going to be a gradual process, so uh, I mean by all means don't settle in to think, oh Frank's going to tell a story. Uh, I got lots more to do than that. Anyway, uh, I had said that the movie is wordless. Uh, yeah, no, no spoken words at all. Uh, and one of the advantages of that is that it would become instantly international. It, it would not be an English movie, a Spanish movie, a Portuguese movie, a, a Chinese movie. There'd be no language. Uh, and uh, the language would be the language of what you see, <laughs> hands, and, and that's a universal language. So it would instantly be an international movie. But that's not the reason that I'm making it wordless. Or it's not, at least it's not one of the reasons. Uh, it's just a fringe benefit. Missing Link actually came to mind. I, I thought, I've never seen a movie like this. Well, there was a movie back in 88 made about uh, Australopithecus Robustus, maybe. Uh, a, a, a predecessor to, to humans. Uh, and uh, when he was being, uh, I, I probably had that name wrong, but in any cases, they were being wiped out, it proposed by uh, our uh, humans. And in it, there, there's no dialogue. I guess there is some narration, but there's no, no dialogue in, in, in the entire movie. So it's not unheard of, but it's the only instance I can think of. As I said, silent movies are a different situation. Uh, and oh, and by the way, it will be in color, absolutely. I mean, this movie has to be breathtakingly beautiful, <laughs> which is a challenge. All right, I said that at the beginning there's a drum. Well, I, I actually realized that Zeffirelli's Brother, Son, Sister, Moon starts that way also, if I'm not mistaken. Bum, 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 wait. I think it's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. That, that's what the, the drum is beating, and, and music starts at, at the beginning of Brother, Son, Sister, Moon. Now, I analyzed that in Frank's school at the end of the first year. I, I took quite a chance, actually, by, by putting clips of it on YouTube. But, but it, it's there. Uh, I, I mean, certainly, if you want to see the movie, and you should, it's a wonderful movie. Uh, the, the way you see it is not on Frank's school. But I analyzed it, and I analyzed the, the, the use of the themes of hands and eyes and, and fire. Uh, and, uh, and Zeffirelli, uh, he... Franco Zeffirelli, he's 92, I think, now, I think. He might even be older. Um, his work uh, is influential on my thinking here because he, uh, on different occasions, made absolutely breathtakingly beautiful movies. Romeo and Juliet, for example. Uh, and now, Brother, Son, Sister, Moon, I'm not sure how successful that really was because I, I think certain people ended up thinking... To, uh, Finding it was too sentimental, too schmaltzy, maybe. Uh, done around 1972. I, I'll never forget, I, I saw it in a movie theater in uh, uh, Hanover, New Hampshire, Dartmouth. And at, at a certain point, the Dartmouth students there booed the movie. I was so put out. I mean, granted that it was, well, I don't know, there was a cynicism there that really offended me. Well, anyway, uh, Zeffirelli's movie, uh, and, and in Zeffirelli's movie, each character has a leitmotif. Uh, uh, Donovan, I didn't look this up, but Donovan did the uh, soundtrack for it, and I think he was well known for that. I I'll look more into that as we go. Anyway, uh, I said the character looks at something far away. What he sees is, is as I say, is quite far away, is the second character. Uh, she has a name. Uh, I, uh, I'm not ready to tell you her name yet, and of course in the movie you would not know her name. But anyway, she is blonde. There's reason for this. Uh, she's thin, she's strong, and she's young. And she's got to be pretty. She really has to be pretty. In, in the casting of this movie, there are some real problems here. Uh, but th the most important thing about this character is the way she moves. She has to move in such a beautiful way. Uh, and uh, there'll, there'll be, she has a, a timbre 
and, and she will have a late motif of her own uh, played on an alto recorder. So at a certain point, the soundtrack will now have the drum, but also the alto recorder. And way down, he sees her walking toward him. Now the way she moves, and this is sort of very different, I suppose, is she's carrying on her head a sack. I, don't, I just don't know how heavy. It shouldn't be too heavy, but it can't be just light either. And she's balancing on her head as she's walking. She doesn't have her hand up to hold it, to balance it. Uh, and uh, the movie Black Orpheus comes to mind. If you, uh, This was made about 1959. And at the beginning of Black Orpheus, uh, there are a lot of women shown carrying uh, and walking beautifully, uh, carrying water on their heads as they're going up to the favela in, in, uh, in Rio, carrying their daily supply of water in these uh, oil tins that they had. Uh, <clears throat> In Brazil, I, I that was I learned to well. I never got so I could balance it without holding onto it. But today, this very day, if I have to carry a bale of hay in the field, I carry it on my head. That's the, the obvious place to carry something, not on your shoulder or you're hunched over. Well, anyway, as she walks, and and it's very far away at first, but she's walking toward him, and I just don't know how that's dealt with with the camera, because eventually you have to see her closer. You even have to see her face. Uh, as she arrives, she's coming to the old man. She has a dog with her. Uh, she's carrying a sack on her head. Uh, she has a walking stick. It seems like she probably should because the terrain is rough as she's sort of coming up this this mountainside. I, I didn't. I failed to say that that that, that the, the old man. At a certain point, it's apparent that that he's on the side of a s sort of semi-cleared mountain. Uh, and what's she wearing? Hmm. Well, she she needs to be wearing something that uh, accentuates how beautiful she is. Uh, it's going to seem weird to say this, but she should probably not be. Well, she she should not be wearing a bra. And the costume. That that the costuming is, is kind of an issue. I think the costuming throughout the movie, among many characters, should change should gradually change, but I'm not so sure it should with these first two characters. And I think of Manon, uh, Manon du Source, that's the way I want to say it, M Manon of the Spring. Uh, this is a movie made, oh, 86, I think it was. I, I'm not sure. But the character uh, that played Manon, that young woman, I, I didn't look up her name, but you could look it up. I, she, in a sense, could be a model in my mind for what this young, beautiful woman would look like. Now, how to find, <laughs> as you cast this, how to find an actress or person, whatever, that can carry something on their head like that. I mean, that also necessitates that they walk beautifully because of the balance required for that. Uh, oh, and I, 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 there's a Brazilian song I can't think of it, but balance, balançando is, is the way you said in Portuguese, the way a, a Brazil, Brazilian women have a certain walk where they really show off their stuff. And, and, and there was a song devoted to that. Maybe one of my viewers, Wayne, he, he might remember that song. But it celebrates the way Brazilian women walk. And that's not exactly what I'm looking at, but it, it is very important that she move beautifully. Now I wrote a Roman Dancing Girl in Lisbon 2015. Back in, I guess this would be now the very beginning of June last year when I was in uh, Lisbon, I actually put this into Frank's school uh, about uh, seeing a, a girl, she was from Rome, a young woman, she was with a man, also Italian, and she wasn't dancing to perform, she was just dancing for joy. But at the time, I was already beginning to think about this movie, and I thought, aha, that would be the character. She would be the, the person that I would cast. And I actually probably could manage to find uh, that woman again, but I have no idea what she does. She's probably not an actress. Her, she speaks English very well, uh, very well. Uh, and I knew she was from I could probably find her. Uh, but in any case, uh, I had, had thought about her uh, now, what else to say? Uh, but she would certainly not be the only possibility. Uh, well, I, I, that's probably enough. All right, so in what I've described, she walks up to the old man, 
maybe one other thing is a question arises. Oh, what what the costuming? Homespun, uh, muslin, plain, uh, almost like a feed sack, uh, and and dressed I think in a similar way to the old man. I think I'm not sure about that. Uh, but then there's also the question: Could she be carrying a backpack while she's balancing that on her head? Would that still retain that kind of beauty? It would be very useful if she could. All right, well, uh, the movie has gone on, and I have this feeling I'm forgetting to say something about her, but that's enough for now.